So the most important one because it's a submarine. You see that? Hey guys, this is TKZ in Roblox Studio. If you excuse me today, I've got a massive ulcer on my tongue, so I may uh, mispronounce things or have a slight speech impairment. But I thought I'd do a little video today, show you what I've been working on. Today, I've been working on a submarine to work in Roblox's water. So <laughs> I've never really mucked around with, mucked around with uh, Roblox's water. I show you what, how far I've, uh, what, I've, how far I've come. Just made up a very basic little craft. Here we go. So we got your control. We can pitch up and down. We can roll. Don't know why you want to roll, but still. And of course, the most important one, because it's a submarine. You see that? That's equalise. The way I'm actually making it go down, I'm actually adjusting the... You see those two big bricks, either side of my craft? I'm, I'm adjusting the physical properties of that. Where I'm setting the, uh, the density to... I think it's a higher number to go down and a lower number to go up. So here we go. Yeah, ballast. If we watch it, actually watch it go down. Here we go. Because this is the new physics that I've been uh, mess messing around with. There we go. That's actually the first time I've actually seen it uh, properly writing to it. I've just been uh, sort of just guessing. So I guess that doesn't work out well. When you press X, it's meant to uh, sort of equalise all the directions. I'll have to work on that. So yeah, basically, I'll show you the controls on how I've done that. At the moment, I'm using key presses from a normal server-side script where it won't work on a server but just for simp simplicity I put it into an one script if I do uh, let this go live on Roblox I'll have to make a little local script inside that script so anyway I'll show you exactly how I did that did all the uh, electrical controls for this thing I'm checking for when a player has actually sat down on the vehicle seat and then if it is a player from that function there get player from character so it won't work on any any odd humanoid because they don't know how to uh, how to control it <laughs> then I'm getting the mouse from the player which is the player here here we go. So if there was a mouse option there, we would see a mouse. And that's basically what that does. And then I'm hooking up the keys from that through my on up on key press, which is basically that. So the controls for my um, my submarine A and D are your which is left and right q and e is pitch pitch the nose up and pitch the nose down r and f is to go up and down vertically or to say horizontally if you like and z and c is roll which is basically like do a barrel roll kind of thing and then the x is meant to uh, reset everything as you can see there but it's not setting properly so I don't know exactly what's going on there so yeah 
that's basically what I've been kind of my kind of having a bit of a break from doing complex uh, modeling and things <laughs> just see my other videos if you don't know what I mean <laughs> so yeah I thought I'd get back to basics with a very simple submarine let's go down let's go underneath this uh, plate Equalize. I think uh, this vi custom physical properties. I think that's uh, the coolest thing Bedrock has ever done. Because <laughs> you can enable uh, submarines like this. Yay! We're not under. So anyway, I'll catch you guys later and hopefully if you, if you guys want me to release this I'll do a little bit more work just to uh, get it working on a, on a server and yeah, why not? <laughs> That's if you guys want, want to uh, play around with it or add to it if you like. The actual mesh of this I actually made in about 10 minutes. Yeah, beach that. <laughs> yeah, you can see see I'm using a body gyro for rotating and things. Anyway, this has been together in Robot Studio on my submarine if you like. And I'll catch you guys later. Together, signing out. <laughs>